Emily was finally coming home from her years of military duty abroad. Just when she was getting comfortable for a nice flight, she heard a rough voice. An expressionless middle-aged man with piercing eyes stated, Sorry, ma'am, but this seat is taken. Emily had a shiver down her spine as their gaze locked, his determination palpable in his unwavering stare and stiff posture. Emily asked, perplexed, what do you mean? Pointing to the designated number on it, the man claimed that this was his seat. Emily, not wanting to quarrel, picked up her suitcase and went to the flight attendant for help. The flight attendant verified that Emily was the rightful owner of the seat after looking over their tickets. She thanked him for the trouble and asked him to take a seat where one was available. Emily was relieved and returned to her place, although she was uncomfortable after the meeting. Emily tried to read to pass the time while the plane ascended, but her thoughts continued to revolve around the mystery man. After several hours, Emily started to unwind when the flight attendant approached her with a serious expression. The flight attendant whispered to Emily when she led her to a more quiet place, that man who claimed your seat, he's not who he appears to be. Emily asked, her heart pounding, what's happening? The flight attendant disclosed in whispers, he's a covert spy on a delicate mission. He needs to get there as soon as possible while remaining covert. Emily found it difficult to process the news. There was a covert operative on board, and she unintentionally contributed to his cover. Emily sat back down in her chair, her thoughts racing with possibilities and questions as her voyage took an unexpected turn. She looked at the unidentified man, feeling increasingly conscious of his presence. Who are you? Emily questioned in a tight, quiet voice. Her straightforward approach appeared to have stunned the man. I am unable to inform you. He gave a cryptic response, just know that I'm doing this to protect something important. Emily persisted despite the evasive response, frustrated. And how do I know I can trust you? The man sighed, regretting his words. There isn't a choice for you. Please just carry on as if nothing were wrong. Your collaboration is essential. Emily was determined to find out the meaning behind the man's enigmatic remarks, but she was torn between wanting to believe him and her gut urging her to be cautious. She was desperate to solve the riddle, so she followed his every move the entire way. Emily, after a little toilet break, slipped up to the man's seat and watched him tinker with a small electronic gadget while feigning to inspect her purse. This reaffirmed her thoughts that something significant was afoot, and her heart quickened. However, the jet jerked violently, throwing her off balance before she could look any more. Emily felt terrible that something was very wrong as the jet flew on. There was a sense of unease in the air, as though the flight itself was in danger. The staff raced to suit the terrified passengers as the alarms went off. Emily's heart fell when she noticed thick smoke coming from one of the plane's wings and realized how serious the situation was. She yelled, what's happening, to the enigmatic man. He gave her a gloomy look in return. We need to get out of here now. Emily didn't hesitate to follow him through the crammed hallways, shoving her way past the terrified throng while her mind raced with terror and resolve. Though she was unsure of their destination, she relied on the enigmatic man's intuition to lead her. At last, the man took Emily to a quiet section of the aircraft where they could have a private conversation. What is happening? Emily questioned, her voice trembling from stress. The man gave her a serious look. An attempt at sabotage has occurred. This jet is being shot down by someone. His remarks felt like a gut punch to Emily. Sabotage in action. Take the plane out of the sky. They had the impression of being in a suspenseful film. Who would do something like that? With her head swimming with possibilities, Emily inquired. The man added hastily, we don't have time to speculate right now. We must find a way to disarm it before it is too late. They started looking around the aircraft together for any indications of danger. With the threat looming large like a dark cloud over them, every minute seemed to last forever. A mysterious suitcase concealed in one of the luggage compartments, seemingly connected to wires and electronic devices, was discovered by the investigators during their unsettling investigation. Emily murmured, that's a bomb, when her stomach twisted with horror. The man gave a somber nod. We must disarm it but we must proceed with caution. Any erroneous action, he didn't have to complete the phrase. 
They were both aware of the stakes. Gripping the cables and gadgets with trembling hands, they tried to find a way to turn off the bomb before it was too late. With the sound of the clock ticking away non-stop, every second that went by felt like an eternity. The plane started to shake more violently when Emily and the mystery man scrambled to disarm the bomb. They knew they couldn't fail since they were in a race against time. Eventually, after several futile tries, the cabin was filled with the sound of a click. They exchanged glances and held their breath, waiting to find out if they had been successful. A collective sigh of relief then spread through the room. Emily felt relieved as soon as they discovered the device had been neutralized. She was grateful to the mysterious man sitting next to her, she would never forget how he had saved their lives. The threat was eliminated, allowing the aircraft to make a safe landing. The crew and passengers expressed their thanks to Emily and the mysterious man for preventing the calamity, hailing them as heroes. But in the midst of the festivities, Emily started to feel uneasy. There was something not adding up about the situation. Then the crowd parted, and she saw the mysterious man look at her and nod meaningfully. Emily was shocked to learn that he was a terrorist rather than a covert operative. She realized the enormity of the treachery, and a wave of horror passed over her. He had bought himself time to get away by using her to defuse the explosives. Emily realized with horror that the war was far from done. To find the man who had tricked her and make sure he never again threatened innocent lives, she would need to employ all of her military expertise. Emily, full with uncertainty and rage, threw herself into a thorough investigation. She followed the man's trail to the point where their lives initially came together with the aid of her military connections and astute deduction abilities. That's when she realized the real purpose of their relationship. Emily recalled that terrible day when she was on a frantic rescue attempt during a blast. Amidst the debris and devastation, she discovered a terrified young child entrapped beneath the debris. She'd willingly put her life in danger to save her. She came to the realization that the girl who had tricked her was the one who had grown up to become a terrorist. Emily, overwhelmed with conflicting feelings, promised to use all of her skills and resolve to bring justice to the situation and make sure that the terrorists' activities would never again endanger innocent lives. She had put her own life in danger to save another's, keeping her safe from impending harm. The girl she had saved years earlier, the daughter of that mysterious guy, was now in front of her. Emily and the young woman's interaction was rife with emotion and tears. Emily was given a second chance at life by Sarah, the girl she had spared, and Sarah embraced Emily with gratitude. David, the enigmatic man, felt a range of emotions when he watched the event play out. Eventually, he told Emily that he had lost communication with his daughter after the explosion and thought she had died in the accident. He was so grateful to learn that Emily had kept Sarah alive, but there were still more mysteries to be unearthed. Emily quickly realized there was still more to learn. David seemed uncomfortable, hesitated, as though considering what he was going to say. At last he brought up the topic, apologizing for interrupting but demanding a private discussion. With a confused expression on her face, Emily asked David to protect their privacy before telling him the startling news that her life was in jeopardy. Emily's eyes grew wide with shock and fear and David revealed that she was the object of a dangerous plot. David revealed that he was a secret agent assigned to safeguard her, despite her conviction that he was a terrorist. Though Emily was aware that there were risks associated with her military employment, she had never considered the possibility of harm after she returned home. Emily felt both fear and resolve as David described the threats made against her. Nobody, no matter how powerful, could frighten or threaten her. Accepting David's protection, she braced herself for what lay ahead. Emily adjusted to having David around all the time and started looking into the threats against her. She dug into the specifics of her previous operations, looking for any clues that would explain why someone would want her dead. But the more she learned, the more questions she had, and the more she struggled to understand the dark forces working against her. As danger approached closer and closer, Emily began to doubt the reliability of people around her when ominous clues and dark plots emerged. She realized that before it was too late, she had to uncover the mysteries of the past in order to have any hope of surviving. When Emily pursued her inquiry, she found a clue that brought her to David, the mysterious man who had been watching over her. 
she confronted him with her findings and asked to know his real identity and motivations. To her surprise, David answered her inquiries head-on, sharing his tale and the reasoning for his secrecy. As it happened, David was actually an ex-military operative who had been hired by a covert organization to protect Emily rather than a secret spy. His desire to protect Emily was driven by deeply ingrained personal impulses connected to her past. Together, they followed a path fraught with mystery and peril, negotiating perilous areas where treachery was waiting around every corner. Emily did not waver in her pursuit of the truth, she was ready to face her history and take on strong opponents who would stop at nothing to stop her. One rainy night, when they dug deeper into their inquiry, they discovered something shocking. They found a secret network of conspirators hatched a sophisticated scheme to topple the government after following a lead to a remote mansion outside of the town. The identity of Emily's father, the conspiracy's mastermind, was the most startling revelation, though. Emily experienced a turbulent storm of feelings when she looked at the man who had reared her, including betrayal, hatred, and bewilderment. How could her father be involved in such dark schemes? This information also astounded David, who realized he had misjudged the seriousness of the situation and the close bond between Emily and her father. They discussed the ramifications of this newfound understanding together, realizing that facing Emily's father would be the biggest obstacle they had yet to overcome and that their road was far from done. Emily struggled to comprehend the full scope of her father's treachery as she was now forced to make the impossible decision of either confronting the man she had once called father or leaving before it was too late. In her life, he had always been a figure of authority that she respected and looked up to. David gave her sage advice while she considered what to do. He was aware that confronting her father might be dangerous, but it was the only way to guarantee everyone's security. Emily hesitantly followed David's advice since she wasn't sure if she had the guts to confront her father. She questioned whether his hunger for power had overcome him or if there was still a glimmer of humanity in him. Emily made the painful decision to face her father and tell him the truth. David and they were getting ready to break into the mansion and face the conspiracy's mastermind. They met lethal traps and armed guards as they made their way through the eerie hallways of the estate, getting closer to the inevitable confrontation with every step. As they eventually made it to the room where her father and his cronies were scheming, a storm of emotion and anxiety broke out in the exchange. Emily bravely demanded answers and confronted her father about the hurt he had caused. Sharp words were exchanged and long-held secrets were revealed. However, an unexpected turn of circumstances changed the trajectory of the war just as it appeared to be reaching its climax. David saw a dark figure moving quietly toward the scene, ready to wreak even more destruction. David gave a warning yell and sprang forward, knocking Emily clear of his path. However, before he could respond completely, the area was engulfed in smoke and rubble as an explosion shook it. Emily looked around at the destruction and felt her heart tighten with panic as the dust settled. She was shocked to discover David, who had been her comrade and protector in every battle up to that point, critically injured, laying on the ground. When their gazes locked, Emily's world froze in the face of peril and uncertainty. Emily walked over to him, tears in her eyes when she saw the anguish and sorrow in his eyes. Are you okay? She questioned, her voice trembling with anxiety. The enigmatic man shook his head feebly, breathing irregularly and shallowly. I tried my best to keep her safe, he muttered. Emily felt a wave of thanks and sorrow pass over her as she reached out and held his hand warmly. She never imagined that their adventure, which started with a random meeting at the airport, would lead to this crucial juncture, when she had to confront the impending death of someone who had changed from an ally to a friend, confidant, and even member of her family. The enigmatic man revealed his true identity as her brother David with her final words. Emily was left shocked by his confession, which cast new light on their shared experiences and reverberated in her head like thunder. She felt the weight of this discovery sink in, and her heart began to hurt from the approaching separation. Emily knelt beside her brother, who was critically injured and didn't have much time left. She was crying uncontrollably when she held his hand. She spoke a soft, I'm so sorry, her voice cracking with emotion. I'm sorry for everything, for everything you had to endure. Her brother said, you have nothing to apologize for, Emily, with a meek smile on his face. I accomplished this entire thing because of you. You belong to my family. 
His words resonated inside Emily, causing her chest to tighten. It wasn't until she discovered her brother that she truly understood how alone she was, and now she could potentially lose him forever. Her brother let out a final sigh and closed his eyes, his respiration becoming progressively shallower until it stopped completely. For a brief while, Emily clutched her brother's hand and let her tears run down her cheeks before getting up to face the unknown destiny that lay ahead. She prepared herself to face the consequences of her disclosures as she said goodbye to her brother. After the plan was exposed and her father was taken into custody, Emily was free to start over. But she also realized that finding the truth had come at a heavy cost. The wounds from her physical and mental struggles would never go away, serving as a continual reminder of the chaos she had gone through. Emily, though, made the decision to not let her past control her future. With the help of her newfound supporters as well as her old acquaintances, Emily started the difficult process of reconstructing her life. She discovered optimism in the unknown and resilience in adversity. She knew it would be a difficult journey ahead, but at least she knew she wasn't traveling alone. Emily started a new chapter in her life with her niece by her side. Her heart was full of hope and drive, but it was also heavy with sorrow. Emily was a fighter and a survivor, and she was unaffected by the destiny that awaited her. She knew that nothing could stop her now, so she approached the future with unwavering resolution. Above is today's story, if you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.